Okay, so this video is going to be about translations, which we've already talked about is a type of transformation that is called an isometry. Because it is a transformation where all objects will remain congruent after the transformation has been completed. So a translation is just a slide. So we are going to move a figure either left, right, up, down, or some combination of those directions. Um, and so everything will remain congruent. So what I have here is a triangle that I have plotted on here. Here are the coordinate points. A is negative 2, negative 5. B is negative 1, negative 1. And C is 3, 4. In your work tonight, you might already be given the graph figure, or you may be given the coordinate points that you first have to graph before you can perform any type of translation. So here it is graphed. So I need to translate it, but in order to know how to translate it, I have to be told a rule for translation. Now the rule could be given in words. For example, I could say we want to translate this triangle by moving it one to the right and down four. The written rule mathematically for a translation on a coordinate plane only is going to look something like this. They'll say, I want you to take every coordinate point x, y and translate it such that x plus 1 means x goes to the right 1, and y minus 4 would mean we're going to move y down 4. In fact, anything attached to your x value is always talking about moving it right or left. Addition means to the right. Subtraction would mean to the left. And anything attached to the y value would mean translating it up and down. Addition would mean up, and subtraction does mean down. So now this one says plus 1, so that means I want to move it to the right 1. And this says minus 4, so that means I want to move it down 4. Now I have two options here. Option 1, I can think of this mathematically, go to each one of my coordinate points and simply add 1 to every x value and subtract 4 from every y value, write my new coordinate points, and replot them. Option 2 is the one that I'm going to go with. I know I need to move to the right 1 and down 4, so I simply go over here and count it out. Right 1, down 4. So right to the 1 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, down. And I will immediately label that point A prime. Remember that the pre-image is labeled with the variables and the image is labeled with the primes. So now I'll do it with B. Right 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, down. And that is B prime. C, I'm going to go to the right 1, and 4, down. Connect my dots. And I have translated triangle ABC to get the image A prime, B prime, C prime. Quick check, I can tell that these triangles are congruent. If something was askew very much and I could definitely tell they weren't congruent, I would know that I had made a mistake. Um, but this looks good and that is how you translate something on the coordinate plane.